So cervical medullary syndrome is essentially when you have some instability in the upper cervical region. So this goes, sometimes goes hand in hand with CCI. But what happens is the dens, which is the big uh, part of the C2 vertebra, it pushes backwards because it, the ligaments are loose there and it actually pushes into the brainstem. I definitely think a digital motion x-ray will be good if we decide that we think we can help. There's pros and cons to the upright. Sometimes we get really great information on the upright that we don't see on a lying down MRI. Um, sometimes we need to do the lying down MRI and do what's called a flexion extension series, which is basically where you're in a flex position and then you do one in an extension position. And again, we're looking to see what happens to the dens in relation to the brainstem to see if we're actually getting some compression of the brainstem, which can, I mean, there's a really interesting body of literature connecting cervical medullary syndrome with MCAS and all of these other neuroautoimmune yeah. oh, stuff. Yeah.